One of the uses of uh, artificial intelligence in radiology right now is finding breast cancer. In breast cancer, what we try and do is screen people to find the cancer before it causes trouble. Because if you find breast cancer early, you can do a very good job of curing somebody with relatively minimal treatment. You know, you want to see everybody healthy as long as they can be. So finding disease like breast cancer as early as possible is one of the biggest wins we have. I've always been uh, fascinated with technology. My first programming experience was on a programmable calculator way before people had personal computers. Then I went to MIT. I tried a couple different uh, majors, but I ended up doing electrical engineering. And finally, radiology was where, you know, I really started doing a lot because radiology was just so focused on technology. So radiology has changed a lot over the over 100 years since the profession started. With early CAT scans, you might have had 20 or 30 images, but now we could have over 1,000 images in one patient's CAT scan. The AI can help by highlighting which of those 1,000 images has an important finding on it. In other parts of the world where there isn't access to radiologists, AI can support non-radiologist doctors in what to look for. It gives them confidence that they are making the right decisions. A university radiology group, we operate at 13 hospitals and 23 outpatient offices. It makes us one of the largest private practice groups in America. And the largest project we have going on using Fujifilm's medical AI technology is in mammography. We are converting all of our offices to assist the radiologist as they read the mammograms. So Fujifilm really lets us collaborate because it pulls the data automatically from any other PAX computer system. With 180 radiologists, you all need to be able to look at the same things. Fujifilm systems are an integral part of running our day-to-day -day business. I can lose a lot of computer systems and still get through the day, but if I lose our Fujifilm system, I can't get through the day. But the computer can't really commiserate with the patients what they're feeling, what their background is, you know, can't hold a patient's hand, and it can't explain currently why it came to the conclusion it did. So I think for quite some time, the technology will be used by the doctor, not in place of the doctor, and that will make us all more efficient. We can take care of patients on a more timely basis and ultimately make a huge difference for those patients.